Welcome back, guys, to Scarlet Nexus, where last episode's standby phase 9 began with both platoons now merging into one, bringing presents and pictures from our prior playthrough with them as we began bonding with a much larger amount of people. Spending time first with Yuuto, who lamented over Nagi's death, and then Kagero, who talked more about his lack of a reason to live, having been separated from his daughter for 2,000 years, as well as then gifting others and scooping up quests, as we now continue on. Yup. Yup. It's a kind of milkshake. The new milk government has finished since that video has been exposed. I'm glad I believed in Karen. He's a worshipper. Kasane, a hero say round like you might be seen as an even greater enemy by Suo. I don't think your power can deflect anything. Don't you think you should train in case Suo attacks? Okay, so I'm taking it. That's right. Better safe than sorry. You're making me return stuff. Is Yurita with me now? How to repel as free kitchen rummies with intercept. That's fire. Psychonese has finished to beat five cushion pounds. Five? <laughs> no, it's Kagero who really doesn't like... He's really bad at figuring out how to work around Siran, isn't he? He's just not very good at this. Five cushion pounds. Seems like quite a lot. And Masubi's is clear. Back to bonding at the hideout. That's our whistle top tour of quest collections. I think now I've got like nine quests in the bank. Nine. Okay, who to bond with? I think Hanabi would be an interesting one. I thought you didn't have a bomb before. Let's just speak to you. Though everyone wants to level up after all. Hmm. You really are cool, Kasane. Cool? You were a bit standoffish in the past. But you always just slice through those others. I wish I could do that. It's not really like me to say this. But I can't help but admire you. You just gotta burn them to death though. It's fine. <laughs> Flame Pillar and Guardian Vision is obtained. So actually for you, this isn't in the sky. You just hold it to build it up and then let it loose. Interesting. I think I'm starting to understand you better. What a coincidence. I feel like I know you better too. I can't believe two guesses was after you Yuta. I'm worried that they might send more people. Bond time! Hanabi, about before, I said some insensitive things. It's okay. I'm sorry I just left like that. I've been thinking since then. I finally understand why you care about Yuito so much. So I want to help make your dream come true. What? What do you mean? I mean, you like Yuito. Whoa, whoa, let's talk outside, okay? Huh? Sure, I don't mind where we talk. Whoa, whoa. Listen, you're mistaken. I don't like Yuito like that. If you don't like him, do you hate him? I, I don't hate him. I just don't like him as a man. Don't say things like that. I didn't mean anything by it. I also looked into some objective data just in case. Objective data? For example, the temperature of your flames is 10% hotter when you fight alongside Yuito. No way. Also, your gaze during missions. Outside of battle with others, you look at him 80% of the time. Oh! Okay, that's enough. I admit it. So you're saying you do like him? Yeah? I see. Don't worry, I won't tell anyone. I want to help you. Thanks. Honestly, I thought you liked Yuito too at first. You guessed wrong. The one who liked him wasn't me. It was my sister. Naomi? Yes. You look just like her when you talk about him. That's how I realized. Oh. If you like him, you should tell him. Huh? What are you talking about? You don't know what could happen if you wait. 
I want you to tell him how you feel for Naomi. Oh, but I just can't. Why are you in such a hurry? We're OSF. If you don't tell him all you can, you may never get a chance. Kasane, I understand that you're serious about this, but I can't say it yet. Why? Because I don't think I'm good enough for him yet. Not as an OSF soldier or as a person. You said it before. It's immature to depend on people. I said that because I didn't know you liked him. No, you were right. You nailed it. That's why I got angry. You and Yuito both have your goals and ideals, but I've just been following him. I'm a member of the OSF, but I've never considered what it is I fight for. I can't stay like this. I need to grow up and get strong enough to stand on my own. What's important is that I become the kind of person who doesn't just depend on people, but can protect and support them when they need it. Oh, okay. I can understand that. I thought the same thing about Naomi. <sighs> I won't force you to tell him, but I'm rooting for you. Thanks. That makes me feel better. Friends really are important. You're welcome. It's rare for me to talk about a friend's love life. That seems pretty normal to me. Is something funny? Nothing's funny. I just think it's very interesting. It sounds like you think it's funny. Hey, Kasane. Back when you were a cadet, you didn't really talk to anyone besides Naomi. That's true. It's because I didn't find it necessary. Uh, I see. But when I think about those times, I'm really glad that you talk to me like this now. Because it means that you find it necessary now. It'll push me harder to become someone you can really rely on. On level 3 is reached with Hanabi. Increases SS recover speed and combo 5. I want to hear more about you. Alright, tell me more about you as well. Want to go watch a game? Why don't we go watch a game to celebrate us making up? The match is pretty far off, but I got two good tickets. You probably figured it out, but these are depressing tickets that remind me I don't have the courage to ask you at all. <laughs> I'll go, but I don't get what's fun about watching sports, so I've never done it before. You've never been to a game? Then you have to give it a try. I'll let you know when the day gets closer. Oh, the depressing tickets. <laughs> right, for, for you, there's about a ton of gifts. Have your fun snack set first of all. That's another fun snack set to the whole place. Snacks everywhere here. Thanks. Let's eat these together. Stats go great with conversation. They do, they do. Except you can't eat and do it. Mm, I can't help myself from charging forward in battle. I know how much you're covering for me and my reckless tendencies. It's fine. Sometimes it makes it easier to fight when you're out in front like that. Well, I guess that's nice to know. I'll just have to be careful that I don't overdo it from now on. More bond level, level four. Assault vision is now obtained, which is one of the classier ones by a mile. But a Baki dictionary is a present from Manabi. I'm going to be someone you can count on. I'm always counting on you, and you can always count on me. A dictionary of Baki, you say? All right, well, that we got the mirror, a tea set as well, which needs to go to Sugumi on top of that, and a flower room, a candle. I've already read the description of that one, so give it in. Wow, I'm so happy. Thank you, I'm collecting these. They smell good when you lie them. Should I talk to Shiden? No. Nope. I can't believe to guess it was after you too. I'm worried they might send more people. Yes, yes. <laughs> Tea set. Go. Stop worrying about you too and looking at him 8% of the time. 10% hotter flames. Thanks. A hot cup of tea is really nice when you're tired. That's what I say. Is it really grown that fast? No, it's just someone else is having some tea. 
And then you can get the mirror. This large fancy mirror is decorated in a flower pattern. It's not only used as a regular mirror to see your whole body's reflection, but also contains a camera and can project you from behind as a vision. Perfect for when you want to look your best in 360 degrees. You get it, Kasane. You just can't check out your whole body with a hand mirror. I could check if my scarf is twisted or if there's a bug on me. So how do you do the projection-y bit then? I don't know. But the mirror works. It's one of those weird things where it's rare to find a working in-game mirror. Meanwhile, on people to bond with... I mean, Luca's probably going to have a thing. Sugumi also... Well, basically everyone's got bonding things because we can level up their bond. Oh, Kasane? What are you so startled about? Nothing. I didn't think I would be able to talk to you. I'm sorry for being startled, but I was just so happy to be noticed. On level two with Sugumi. Shell break and guardian vision. Have we become closer? I'm not sure. It depends on your definition of closer. But I feel like we at least understand each other better. So she isn't one of my actual, like, bonding missions. In fact, didn't realize there's too many to do. Sheedon's one. I think it's just Sheedon, isn't it? I think it's only Sheedon left. At this juncture. Kakura was hiding something again? I think it's something really important. I don't know. Well, if only Sheedon is left, then I guess we are gift giving for the main part of this time frame before doing those quests. Okay. Tortoise shell glass we've already given. You knew that without clairvoyance, my eyesight isn't very good. I'll use it someday. You're really strong, Kasane. I think you're pretty strong, too. I don't mean in battle. I mean mentally. Nothing ever gets to you. I always get overwhelmed by everything outside of battle. That's why I want to learn from you. On level 3 with Tsugumi. Psychonesis read attack and combo vision are now obtained. Do we understand each other a bit? I feel like we've come to understand each other a little better than that. Well, Sugumi's finds it hard to make friends. The potted cactus we've already given the Kagoro. Oh, uh, thanks. Kasane, careful with the spines. It's indoors, but it needs sunlight. I'll raise it with care. No level up yet. A tea set, which we've already given out. In fact, we've given out every gift that we could give out. It's already been given. To everyone else. You didn't get a standalone gift, sadly. Oh, uh, thanks. We should value Sugumi more than that. I'm not very good at talking, but I like having tea. I'll brew some herbal tea. And I think she's done just that. So the tea society in the kitchen is getting bigger and bigger all the time. The self-help book, How Not to Worry. So it's kind of patronizing to oh, give someone that. Thanks. This is for me. Thank you. I might not be able to do it just like the book says, but I'll give it a read. Okay, who to give gifts to next? Who can sleep like a rock? This is what happens when you work too hard. Well, I have hanging scroll of speed. That's an extra for you. I think we're going to be very close to going to the fifth bonding level, but Sugumi's only at three. So we're going to need to raise that. Hmm. <laughs> Take it if you're giving it. Should probably just sell it on. Wouldn't surprise me. 
All right, let's give you the old PC for extension. This old well-used PC with expandability was top of the line at the time. Now the processing time is slow and there is no support at all. Many enthusiasts enjoy that inconvenience. They use an SNS to exchange information on maintenance and how to acquire parts. Yes, many people do enjoy that kind of inconvenience. You have a good eye. It's what they got used to. They don't want to change it up, especially if they're older. We're wanting to enhance the server. You have great timing. Okay, so we didn't get to level five there. Like, who am I giving more stuff? Obviously, Luca is one. Sheedan is one. One of them has a bonding mission. One of them probably doesn't. I don't think I've gifted Kyoka the rest of her stuff. Well, now Kakuro is going to tell Yuto about Chairman Sumeragi. He said he was thinking about it, but... Yeah, for healing music, earth and sea. Therapeutic music like this creates alpha waves in the brain and allows you to relax. It contains various sounds of nature like bird songs and insects chirping. Listen to this and relax if you're tired. This is nice. Why well, is this new music when I'm tired? I'm glad you wanted to make me feel better. Should I talk to Sheedan? I think Sheedan's the guy with the actual thing, though. So let's talk to Luca. Finish up with him with a bit You're of gift giving. You're an intriguing person, Kasane. I apologize if that sounds strange. I meant it as praise. It didn't bother me. I'm glad. That practicality may be your greatest merit. On level two is reached. Mid air teleportation and guardian vision as well. You're an interesting person. I would like to learn more about you. Really? I think you're much more interesting than I am. So he actually does have a full bonding mission. The false transmission we sent has caused so much confusion among the citizens and government, but it was a necessary evil. So yeah, the bond episode there. Everyone else, I think, is being gifted at this point. Sheedan, Luca. The two to hit up, but we will hit them up the next time. Because I think now it's time to end ourselves at yet another session. Now that this place is filling up to an ever crazier amount of stuff. Just look at it. I mean, we really need that dealt with, though. <laughs> like, no wonder there's cockroaches. <laughs> no wonder there's cockroaches indeed. Look at this. I'm amazed she isn't just a straight up neat, to be honest. But we will continue on with phase 10 getting closer, I think it is. Next time. Before then, though, before we end, we're going to go off and do our massive list of how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten quests. So let's get on that. And so now we come to our side questing. With help with coverage requiring us to kill scummy pendus with a psychokinesis finish, I found a nice place where there are four waiting, and I've already hey, done four, so as long as we hit... That's quest that complete. The request. With the greatest of ease. Of course, being just a scummy thing, it doesn't exactly have that much HP. Keep your guard up. Yeah. That's a bit mean to call it that, though. What made it scummy? Just because it doesn't even have a brain crush bar? Something along those lines? So that's one of our two done. Help with coverage. Gets us an Ogre Horn Luminous. Well, one of our ten. But what I say one of two is that the Wither Sabat needed for one of our other quests here. Where is it? Where is it? It's probably right at the top and I've just go past it. Surprise test continued, yeah. Is here too. After defeating... These three annoying gits. <laughs> It's over. Go, I think I was trying to use something there, but something just went away and hid. Guess I should hide when that's coming in, though. Man, stop taking the hit for each other. And you see, my hits are incredibly deliberate in where they're being located. Focus on attack. 
Even that does no damage, really. And now I've got this. Wow, Kasane, you're so good. Well, I like to be. Oh, With a Sabat. Like it is. Let's do this. That's why. Get him on the slowdown. Hit him with this to start off with a big knock of the crush gauge. Use it well. I'll support you. Let's do this. Maybe get a shot if we're lucky. Focus on that spot. Well, that's a good extra attack. Our hearts are connected. An easy crush with lots of crazy attacks. And even level 63! The first level up of the entire X-New Game playthrough has actually happened. The miracles. I only got three brain points, but I feel like that's... um, That's great. I'll take it. Yay! Now I've got to build up to our next level. Medium Jelly times 3 is obtained, of course. We kind of already have them, but we can always buy more. So let's pick a next quest to go after, shall we? Okay, so we have a ton of Bando Pendus over here. I'm gonna look to take them down. With an extra attack from Kagro. Ah, just not enough. He's so close. All right, well, we gotta finish it. When I was just on the thing, but we need three to do, and I've already done two. Run, youngster. So because we got an air attack to begin with, finishes the job. that strike no will report. do it pretty well. So with that said, Busy B is now complete. It's a bit annoying to do them with Kagro, but if you could knock them down without them knowing where you are, with some Psychic Kinesis attacks, you could generally lower their HP enough that you can do the Ground Kong on Kagro and hit with multiple hits, but that time I only hit with one. Printed photo stand is obtained. Let's move on to see if there's anything else I can get here. I'm pretty sure I'm looking for brawn yawns. So with my brain fill built up and hey, one already another. killed. It's the one we're supposed to take down. It's the brawn yawn I'm after. With brain filled data, someone goes incredibly low. I've already defeated one on the way. They are just up and down Kunat Highway. Some are close to their limit. Lasers do nothing to me. Luca Travis has gone down. No, Luca! I feel power bubbling up inside me. Are we here just here? So knock that out ASAP. Man, Brainfield is quite fun. And very much a spectacle. So with Brainfield data done, we get a confusion more generic. Leaving us with six quests left as I still look for more enemies down this road. To be able to... Uh, Knock out. And look, the level bar is actually going up. <laughs> well, it turns out that level is incredibly needed because I don't yet have charge attack to be able to do my charge attack rat root quest. It's really late in the tree. So we gained free BP. We use free BP to get charge attack just so we can do the quest. And now I can go to work with it, I guess. So I've got a rat right here. It's a bit low on HP, I've got to admit. Now we can charge attack. We have to do that a few times to get the actual KO. It's down. Let's finish it. Now. That seems to be the spot. So let's go find another one to kill, and then quest will be complete. That was close. The enemy shell is broken. Kasane, now's the time to attack. Now. It's working. Focus on that spot. Huh? Huh? Finish it, right, that's charge attack next. I think I can just finish it if I want to, but I'll wait for the time being. And let that guy just die normally for the quest completion. It's over. Huh? And then take on the other rat rat. Who has a lot more shield by the look of it. Or I'm just not hitting the true weak spot. My mate, just carving you down slowly. It's just how it has to be. Your finisher was good, Kasane. 
Charge attack has been learned. Another quest has been completed via it. Easy victory. Thank you very much. An oil proof coating generic is our reward. What is next? If we can... Focus. All right. Let's do this. Duplication should be useful. So we've like brain drive got and session bounds now coming in as we fight a wither savat. It's useless. time to do yeah. the strategy in that the same place where we defeat them last time. And hope that I'm far it's enough down. away most Let's of the time it. to be able to do the job. I'll do it. Because they're gonna be coming in from every angle. And I have to be able to react. And on top of that, somehow have enough stuff. Next. Alright, those guys got taken out naturally, which sucks. Damage to outer shell confirmed. Break it. Come on. Means I'm gonna have to kind of kill this guy in the hope the more will spawn, but it was five exactly there. Brain drive is still on. I've lost Sheen's ability. I'll protect you. Perfect. Thank you for protecting me. Use it well. Useless. It's over. That's four. Aim for that spot. Keep your guard up. It mean that you spawned so close to me. Four. I don't know how I kill it. Did Brain Drive just run out? That's for how many now? I've done it! <laughs> I just didn't even realize I've done it. Full face mask luminous is obtained. First try as well. Well, it helps to have done it on Yuito's route. Though, to be honest, the, uh, the enemy makeup here is a little bit different. That's for sure. Right, so I'm going to defeat this Judy Chinnery. And move on to our next quest. The shell is broken. And so with a ton of cushion pounds in one area, we have a quest to finish them by a side kinesis finish, which is perfectly doable. With one or two of these, and a brain crashes as being the last hit. Just throw the kitchen sink at the guy. Easily take out Cushion Pounds in the Blink of an Eye. Five Kinesis finish. Smash them. Break them. Put them in a stew, I guess. Right then. With that quest done. Seeking your advice is complete. We get an OSF armband vision at black. And now I have to continue finding things. Mario Pendo's Barista Santos are supposedly here in the museum as well, but I haven't seen them yet. And Kitchen Rummy. So let's keep on moving. And so for our Barista Santa, Slam Attack quest is actually incredibly easy to reach Barista Santa. Weirdly enough, it was the last monster I found in the Blooming Hideout entirely. What's General Fubuki like normally? He's too serious. He's got the live your life for others disease. Don't let yourself turn into such a boring adult. We're children of the stake. So as long as we're in the OSF, the growth retardant stops the aging of our bodies, not our minds. Let's go, Colorado. Okay then, uh, for interjecting. I'm going to stealth past this guy, because the Barista Santa is here, so it's very easy to reach in and out without any other issue. Actually, I'm going to just attack it with that. A successful preempt. The enemy didn't see you coming at all. Help me, Luca. Oh, so we just need to slam attack this guy. Oh. So annoying. No, no chucky stuff. Bad. No chucking electric tire. I'm, I'm gonna break your armor. I hope it's gonna work otherwise. Slam attack is the only needed for the finisher, of course. Aim for its weak spot. You can use it earlier, because it does do quite good damage. So I'm going to get, obviously, some counterattacks on me here. We just have to finish it 
with the slam. Nice slam Kasane. You're so good. So it's quite easy to finish up. Just takes a, a little bit of slamming and jamming to get it down. Aerial attack is complete. We defeated three Blue Santas for a fireproof barrier generic. Next quest. So, with all three Kitchen Rummy I need for the power to repel in front of me, as well as a Mario Pendu out over there, it's time for me to try and lower their HP enough that I can intercept them. Which might be easier said than done, because I might do more damage than I realize at certain times here. So I want it low enough that one intercept will do the job. There we go. That should do it. Now I just need him to use the ability. And actually hit with the right one. So I don't want to set them on fire, most likely. It's over. Let's That's one. It down while it's burning. Yeah, let the bulb burning thing's my problem. I don't want it to burn to death, I don't think. Okay, maybe that'll work. I'll have to use another one at this rate. Oh, well, I just got hit. It doesn't seem to be taking much burn damage. Well, there we go. That's two. This is pretty good. Okay, hit again. There we go. That should be enough. Now all I have to do is dodge the attack. It's yours. It was amazing, Kasane. Free steps done. No problem at all. Power to repel for a breastplate luminous. That leaves us with just power analysis, which is when SAS invisibility is active, defeat four Marabo Pendu. That's easier than I thought it would be, because of course you could just activate it when you get a brain crush. So if you see an opponent that like that. Is it the one we're supposed to take down? You just pelt it. Super bullying. Focus on that spot. Now. Let's do this. Super bullying. Right, let's finish this. It just allows you to activate well, it during the kill. You're so good. It is nice and easy to defeat. That is 10 quests done. The Invisible Dancer V4 plus times one is obtained. And now our quest log is completely filled out yet again with, of course, another load to obtain in the future. But we are up to date. Let's return us back to the actual Let's Play for our farewell for this session. And we'll get our bonding with these two next time. So join me then for more Scarlet Nexus as we wonder what more might be different in the main missions but knowing that our bonding is always going to be a little bit unique as we build up towards our next team bonding for the whole group. Will it be different than the team bonding we did in that route? Ah, oh, that's a good question. Will it be the same? Who knows? We'll find out as we head closer to the end game of Scarlet Nexus. I'll see you guys then for more. Bye-bye.